Some small but significant changes were made to Formula One Racing's technical regulations ahead of the 2013 season. One of them was to give teams the option of fitting a small piece of laminate, nicknamed a vanity panel, to the nose section of their cars. For safety reasons, the 2012 regulations reduced the maximum height of the nose section and, as a result, last year many of the cars sported unattractive step noses. These can now be smoothed out. Another development for 2013 is the introduction of more stringent front wing deflection tests to lessen the possibility of flexible bodywork being used to enhance aerodynamic performance. The front wing must not flex by more than 10mm when a 100kg load is applied at 2.790mm from the centre line of the car. The two load points are at 675mm and 975mm from the front wheel centre line. To compensate for the increased weight of Pirelli's 2013 tyres, the minimum weight of the car and driver has been increased from 640 to 642 kilograms. The mandatory weight distribution has also been adjusted accordingly. To make F1 cars ever safer, tougher new tests on the survival cell and roll structures have also been introduced for 2013. At the rear of the car, active double DRS systems, which feature a duct being uncovered in the rear wing end plate when the drag reduction system overtaking aid is activated, have been outlawed for 2013. In 2012, Mercedes developed a clever concept whereby air was channeled through an opening in the rear wing end plate. When DRS was activated, the air was then fed through the car to help stall the front wing and provide a small increase in speed. Other teams developed similar concepts which involved stalling the rear wing. However, whilst these systems are now banned, passive double DRS systems, in which the driver has no control, remain legal.